Hello and welcome. In this video, we will learn how to do numerical interpolation in one variable. In this case, we will apply Lagrange polynomial scheme. <coughs> so, what is interpolation? Interpolation is, is basically to find the data between the the, the known data. So, for for this for this case, uh, for example, this plus this cross uh, point is the the actual data we have. And we want to interpolate the data between this cross uh, point. So, uh, in this case, the line that uh, connects this data is called P uh, as a function of x. Well, in this case, P is uh, the interpolation function, and it has a properties such as uh, the value of P on each. Uh, uh, on each data must be equal to the data, the data itself. So that's the that's one that is one uh, property of the polynomial and the Lagrange polynomial here. Uh, we approximate the the p as a polynomial with the order of n minus one. N is the number of data we have. So for example, in this figure, we have one, two, three, four, five. Have data so the the highest order will be four here so this is the polynomial and by using these properties by using the property I, we have uh, saw before uh, the value of the polynomial function must be equal to the function itself at a, at a given point at a given data here. and by doing so we have several uh, equation to solve one Two, three, and so on. It depends on how much data, how much data we have, and the result is after we solve this linear equation, we have this one. The p as a function of x is basically the, the this is what we call weight function. L x x i multiply with the value of the data at xi so in this case the l is basically the multiplication of x minus xg over xi minus my xg so in this case um, for example we have uh, three data if we have three data means we have three equation to solve here three equation to solve we will have the p as function of x as this one it depends on fx1 fx2 and x3 okay so that's uh, the basic theory of the lagrange uh, polynomial and and we can go to the example here we want to solve this uh, we want to do the interpolation of this data where the x is 1980 up to 2005 and the fx is 440 up to 500 here. Okay? So let's take a look at the code. The code here, um, as usual, as, as as usual, we have uh, a program description here. I have I use uh, n as the number of data. X data is the data of x axis, and f data is the value of the data itself, and x is the point of data to interpolate. So basically, this program will uh, allow us to find out the data at any x between the, the the given data so for example if we have 1980 we want to find if we want to find 1985 uh, for example or sorry 1981 uh, the data is between 1980 and 1985 so we can call this uh, program and find the, the value of the, the data so this program use uh, input the input file which is uh, here the input file the first line here the data the data lagrange the data lagrange will be like this we can find the data lagrange here Data lagram will be like this. The first 
the first uh, line is the number of data 1 2 3 4 5 and the rest is the data itself okay so that's the lagrang uh, data and this one the output lagrang will be written after we have finished the the calculation of the interpolation so the, at the beginning we we read the uh, the data from lagrang data lagrang file and this is the process here first we read the number of data and then allocate the x data and f data and then reading the data and store it into the x data and f data okay. and after that uh, we call the lagrang subroutine here uh, we call it one million times and uh, we have to take a look to the lagrang here the lagrang subroutine so the main part is happening here the, the lagrang subroutine so uh, the input is basically the number of data and the x data the x axis and the value of the data and also the x the x what uh, the coordinate we want to find the data this is the uh, input and the output is the output here yeah, the variable it stores the the value of the data on coordinate of x here <coughs> so the the algorithm is basically happen here uh, it's basically similar to what we have uh, here the polynomial so let's take a look at the l here the l is basically the, the the variable to store the this l this l uh, value right so for example if we have three data means the first l will be x minus x2 x1 minus x2 so we have this if i equals to g means for example if uh, i equals to 1 and g equals to 1 then the l will be 1 so for example if uh, i equals to g there is no 1 minus 1 here so there, there will be 1 minus 2 and so on so this is 1 minus 2 and 1 minus 3 right so if, if we have 3 data here so uh, if i equals to g means this is becomes 1 1 multiply with x and so on so we we, we use uh, that uh, uh, statement here yeah? if statement <coughs> and else means uh, if i is not equal if i is not equal to g then, uh, the the form or the expression will be standard like this standard formula like this x minus xg xi minus xg x minus xg remember xg is the data right and xi also the data so x data g minus over uh, x data i minus x data g and we have this one l min l multiply with so in this case at the, in the loop itself the l the old l will be multiplied with the new l the new l will be here sorry the the old l will be multiplied with this uh, variable so we will have this multiplication right and after that we have uh, uh, we store the output the output is basically the p yeah? the output is the p here yeah? the value of p the final p so that's why we multiply the output the old output plus l uh, this weight function multiplied with the f data the develop of the data itself so we have this complete uh, polynomial here and that's it that's uh, how we how we uh, mul uh, do the interpolation with the, the lagrange polynomial and in the next video we will learn how to uh, how to play around with the program so then we can uh, adjust our needs into into this program so 
see you soon bye